In the red at the bottom left, our North American player representing the site, TeamLiquid.net. He is Liquid and Hot. There he is. Now to our player representing Korea in this match. With a very refined style from what we've seen before. Not as wacky. He is. Toya for you. Actually, wacky, I don't know if it's the correct way to describe his style. It's kind of risky. Yeah. A bit wonky. Wonky, thank you. Love that word. There was another W word. I I only say W words. Wow. It's a silent W in the, in the beginning of each word I say. You guys can't see it, but that's how it is. All right. I'm just so stoked to see what builds these guys want to do this game. This game. Uh, this is a great map. This uh, is a map where, again, we could see them both four warp gate rush. Not the best four warp gate rush like Scrap Station, but, you know, yeah, it, it's it, doable. I mean... But there's obviously the other builds that stop four warp gate rushes. Huck so far really showing he loves to open four warp gates. But he actually loves to get blink. He does. So I got to hand to the guy is a pretty sexy ability. Well, blink is actually so cool. It's just so cool. It's just so cool. I love blink. It's like sure. It's like it's like, it's like your eyes are it's dry. Like cool. It's like your eyes are dry, and then guess what? They aren't anymore. It's like your stalker's getting hurt, and guess what? They aren't anymore. Well. Hella cool. <laughs> hecka cool, too. This is hecka cool. My mom won't let me say hella. <laughs> now, um... That's not fair. <laughs> You're an adult now. <laughs> um, let's see here. Not much to say until, um, you know, we see where they're going to pull their warp, uh, chrono boost energy, excuse me. All right, so same exact builds at the moment. Huck just slightly ahead on everything. I'm so excited, Tasis. I don't know what to do. I, I just want to be you. quiet and watch and just be like, cross my fingers. Huck, please! We're going in my chair. Please, Huck! Oh, no, now, uh, we have more gates coming up here for Choya, and it is going to be a four-work game. But, as we've seen from these two players, there's so much stuff. Dude, these guys you can do after four are okay. addicted to their four-work gates. You would even say four-gate is the gateway drug to PvP. Wow. Well said. Somebody give these guys the patch. <laughs> the patch is three gateways in a robo. <laughs> <laughs> with perfect force fields and stalker control in the early game. Now they are chrono boosting um, the warp gate. Uh, yeah. yeah, the warp gate ability. Just extremely I don't know why I similar second guess right myself now. on what I was saying. There he's going to taste a secret hallway. And it looks like Choya is actually sending a probe down John's common knowledge hallway. Oh, interesting. Huck will probably figure that's occurring because it's just so common. Well, everybody talks about it. It's not that special. Uh, Tasteless. This is actually really interesting because they are circumnavigating each other's armies. Uh oh. Now, if he gets some probes, should Troy get some few probes here? That's all it's going to take. Nope, Troy actually, I don't know this about this. This is actually, Huck looks like he's going to gain the upper hand from this, perhaps. What was that about? Because I think he can the catch those Choya. units of Choya that are in the middle of the map. Yeah, it looks like it. He's able to well, damage it. It's, this is, I don't know, this is like a weird situation. I know, this is. Choya running down that hallway. Every once in a while we get in situations like this due to improper scouting where suddenly they're both in odd positions they shouldn't be in. They went up different paths. They All took right, so the path less chosen. <laughs> okay, he spotted the pylon. Uh, probably would be unwise to warp in units. No, he's going to do it. Well, he get that Huck's going time. for it, Tasteless. Uh oh and he actually got it on enough units. Oh. Uh -oh. And those are caught. Huck gaining a nice lead here. If he can take out those stalkers, it's going to be a gigantic going down the Tasteless secret hallway. He's in my hallway. Huck can make units back there. And that's going to end right now. Oh, my God. Huck is up the ramp, Tasteless. 
Choya gonna feel some pain. Huck looking like he can make it. He's got He's got the micro here. He's got the micro perfectly. He, the oh, dude, is Huck, is, Huck is gonna win this. I can feel it. He's shooting at the zealots. Yeah, bringing those zealots up there. He's gonna start target firing them as well. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. He's got a perfect surround. Huck, Huck's micro is brilliant. And Huck crushing everything. Guess what, guys? Looks like Huck's gonna move on. What a game we saw here. He should get the pile on the powers to warp gates. He is. And it is gonna be power outage here. And that's GG. Huck from TeamLiquid.net goes Very into nice. Code S. He's happy gotta be day. Good about that. Happy, happy day. Oh, yes. He made a heart. He made but a they heart. Didn't zoom out to him quick enough. Eating a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, see this cookie? I ate it. I ate it. It's a Choya flavored cookie. <laughs> Tastes like warp gates. <laughs> Choya with his head down on the table. Crushing the beat. He will go down to Code A. You know, th that all came down to the odd positioning of the two. Uh, He's very sad. Pushes. Well, I would be too, man. I mean, there's a lot on the line here, man. This is your esports career, dude. I'd be happy. I'd be like, Huck beat me. He's in Kodas. Yes! Why don't you throw the match here? You're going to be so happy. Oh. Oh. That's why. So. Well. Well. We now have two Team Liquid members in the Kodas. Can't believe it. Uh, this is great. Happy for Huck. You know, he trained very hard for this. He sacrificed a lot to come out here yeah. and be in Korea. That's very true, Tasteless. Um, everyone, go give Huck a congratulations on all the forums on his Twitter, Liquid Huck. Yep. Add him on Twitter. Yeah. Add us on Twitter. Call me Tasteless. He's Artosis. And hashtag GSL and, uh, and Huck. I forgot what I was going to say there. Yeah. Uh, hashtag that. Start talking about it. We, we are so to a trending topic. Yeah. I'm yeah. Pretty happy. Um, so, that means we're halfway through the up and down matches. PvP so group Inca, is fast. <laughs> yeah, that's a short matchup. The shortest matchup. So, we are going to go ahead and move on to um, uh, our next group. It's going to be two Zergs and a Terran. We get all the races covered here. So, Inca and Huck move on. Well done. They both deserve it. I mean, we predicted those are going to be the people that moved on. Yeah. And um, I'm not shocked. Our predictions are always right. I didn't ask for these powers. Except for Clyde, but one well, day it will be right. One of these days. One day I'll invent a time machine, go back in time, make sure Clyde wins every break GSL. Break the fingers of his opponents. <laughs> uh, well, I got to say, Choya played a lot better than I expected. I thought he yeah, was no, be Choya a bit actually more showed a lot of skill there. Especially in that game. That, even though we lost that game, uh, game number one. That was just brilliant. Yeah, no, I, I thought that game number one and game number two, Choya played both of them very, very well. Game number three. We got a 10-minute break, guys. So don't go anywhere. Now would be a good time to do that eight-minute abs on YouTube. We'll be back soon.